guys, welcome back. This is Mana and today we are at the Sims Summit. We are going to review what happens during the Sims Summit, give some highlights here and there. I won't be able to show too, too much here due to copyright law. It's going to be bits and pieces, but I am hoping for the best in this situation. So let's just watch it. As some of you may know, starting today, the Sims 4 base game is free to play. Yes, it is free for anybody to play today. Just go ahead and download it on the EA app, on consoles, whichever console you play on, and it is free, free to play. So you have no excuse now. Come on, Simmers, new Simmers. We want to see you and what you can create. I'm excited for all of you. You guys get to experience The Sims for the first time. We want you to know we're committed to adding new content to The Sims 4. We saw how much you love The Sims Deliver Express drops, so we're bringing more of that to the game. Whoa, more Sims Delivery Expresses. That is great. I love those things. It's free content. It's free. It's free. Who doesn't like free? I, it'd be so fun to see what all is going to be added in in the next few months. We can now expect updates for this content monthly. <gasps> monthly? We get SDX drops monthly? Oh, oh, that would be so great. And we also have more packs, more kits, and more free updates planned that we'll share with you when we're further along. Oh yeah, more kits, more packs, more gameplay. Who's gonna get mad at this? I want more stuff, I want more fun. Today, we're so excited to share early concept developments that will feature in two future Sims expansion packs. Two, two, two expansion packs are coming our way in next year. Oh, look at that, we get two new worlds this one kind of looks like uh, san francisco with the golden gate bridge here that looks so neat oh and another waterfront family a lot of lot of ugh. waterfront city another city and it looks like it's family friendly with the kids and the kids on kids on bikes oh my gosh kids kids are on bikes okay and then this one i'm not exactly sure what this is but it looks like there's gonna it's i don't know these these look like Oh, they're bright lit and they're, they're so neat. And then the festival, there's, we're getting another festival, it looks like. Little green spaces, more urban. It's another like a city world, it looks like. Or maybe this is this city. <laughs> they're right next door. I want to get deep dive into this. I can't wait for more information on these two new worlds. Okay, so the new build. Look at this. Okay, so this is a lot more rustic, more, ooh, look at that curved dresser oh but it's got like modern touches with more rustic feel oh in a victorian stuff oh i like those concept pictures and then this one this one is oh it is it's something else too it's it's like it matches this oh i really like it it's i don't really know what the concept is but that's a raw edge countertop it has industrial themes it looks like it's cabiny oh these so look so warm and cozy already okay grandparents there's there's gonna be a grandparent oh it's a generations pack you'll understand when i get to it when i say generations pack i don't want to you know ruin my own surprise here and the, this is grandpa and grandma, and then a comfy, cozy chairs. Oh, and CDs are tapes and DVDs all like shoved in a box. Like this is your 90s. Let's shove it in a corner. It's clutter. Oh, this is our new clutter pack kit that's, that's coming out. This is the new teenage kid or clutter items, and it's literally clutter. Like it's, it's a mess. I love it. Look at that. It's a mess. Oh, and new undergarments for our Sims. That's cool. I wish I knew what that said, but I think it is in Simlish. Oh, I like it. Oh, oh, and redacted. Oh, <laughs> the guru's got us good. Yes, redacted. Look at us go. Expect a lot more baby noise. Baby noise. Did you hear it? Baby noise. We got to go back. I talked through it. <gasps> Babies. Okay, I like it. 
I'm sorry, the clapping hurts your ears. We'll be working with a new destination for The Sims 4 players to download trusted mods and custom content. This will come to life through our new partnership with Overwolf. So awesome. I've been looking for a great safe place to download all my all the CC and the mods that I want. So this is so cool. I can't wait to see more of this. It's like a gallery for just CC and mods. I like it. I wonder if the console players will be able to download it. Okay, we're getting into the meat and potatoes of this summit. This is what everybody has been looking forward to or being scared for or getting excited for. And they're hoping that this was going to happen immediately. But first look at the look. future of The Sims innovation ways to not only tell stories, but to collaborate on those stories or creations with your closest friends across your favorite devices. <sighs> Oh no, that's multiplayer. I will be honest with you, I'm not looking forward to the multiplayer aspect of this new Sims 5. Today marks the start of our journey over the next few years. Next few years, this is not immediate. This is the next few years. New generation is Project Renee. Project Renee! Yay, this is Project Renee, but we all know it as The Sims 5. Five. This is it. This is The Sims 5. They are announcing it. They are sharing it. They're addressing our guesses, our maybe a bit of our nerves just to calm our community down. Yes, they're doing The Sims 5, but it's not coming out for a few more years. So that's a good thing. At least they are acknowledging the elephant in the room. Now, I want to give you all a very early behind the scenes look at what we're testing and exploring. Again, this is very early and just a few aspects of what Project Renee will grow to be. What I gather from this is that it's not final software, not by a long shot. You don't really like it or you think, oh, that's really unpolished or, you know, I hope they don't do that. Well, they're probably not going to. They, they really need to smooth out the edges, really figure out their concepts and how it all works together. So this may change. We, we may get a final product that really looks nothing like this. So please keep that in mind. We start with our creative tools, a key part of our Sims DNA. I like that they're thinking of really, really allowing the, the creator or the player to really, really, really customize. You could totally change up a feel of an item by just changing something small and that that is really, really interesting. Oh, this is like The Sims 3, right? Like I never played The Sims 3, so I I don't have that experience for this cool color wheel. <laughs> There's like, I feel like this stuff is We've really- the um, to change not only patterns and yeah, colors. Like, okay, doing the patterns and colors. I feel like it's giving um, too too much. I'm gonna be overwhelmed at first. I really am. There's gonna be a little bit of a learning curve. I'm gonna get excited and put patterns everywhere when I shouldn't. Oh, that's tradition. that's different. There's With no Project real Renee, grid. It's just it easier to work together. Just place it wherever you, can you want. You play or create by yourself or with your close friends. It's entirely your choice. Okay, so this is the multiplayer aspect that they're describing here. So it looks like you can save, publish your creation, so to the gallery, obviously. So then your friends can come and go, well, I think this would be really great. Oh, let me do the plants or let's do something else. Let me do the color coding. Let me do the decorating and that type of thing. That might be interesting. That might be get very frustrating. It's like, no, don't wreck my stuff. So it says, I, who wants to share? I can share it with everyone and I can only have it for me. So only I can tinker with it. Okay, I like that. I like that part. We want you to be able to play wherever you want. So this is demonstrating an early technology test of how you can play this game across supported devices of your choosing. Oh, so that's cool. So they're trying to make it so, so it, it's like you can play this on mobile and on console and PC. That's different. Maybe the mobile version is the multiplayer version. I don't know. I, I'm not a big mobile game person. So maybe it's obviously not for me, but I could see people like wanting to go sit at the library or have a spare time and just wanting to play their Sims on their phone. That would be kind of neat. Now this is just a small taste of what Project Renee and the team is working on alongside the Sims 4 and mobile teams. Project Renee might overtake the Sims Mobile 
and The Sims Free Play and The Sims 4 franchise completely and it all comes together to be The Sims 5. That would be kind of neat idea. I mean, I don't know if I might like it or not, but I'm gonna really, really, truly hold my really true feelings, my judgment until it's actually officially ruled out. I don't wanna like it, but we'll see. We'll see how it works. Wait, hold on. Is that infant still crying? Eh, this is the best part, <sighs> guys. This is that. the best part. And they saved it for the end. It's crawling. It's sitting. It's being cute. Oh, look at that baby. And it lays down. And look, the baby's not creepy looking. <laughs> Okay, this is the best part of the summer. So this is gonna be one of our new new packs. I, it has to be like a generations pack. We saw the picture of the dentures in the glass. We've seen this really cute movable baby. It's gotta be a generations, it's gotta be. We saw in the promo pictures of the new worlds, there was a kid with a bike and a helmet. A bike, he's riding a bike is so cute and i oh i can't wait to see this i hope it comes out before christmas but i understand if it doesn't we'll we are still waiting on two new kits there is a blog post if you would like to see all the new things written down if you'd rather not watch this well guys this is it and all i have for you today i had a really really great time watching this sim summit if you haven't watched the stream i recommend you go and watch it. it is actually quite entertaining with all the dancing and the little interviews and i just really like the little sneak peeks at it all and the talking about project renee and i'm looking forward to seeing how project renee evolves and changes over the next few years but that being said thanks for watching i hope to see you all again soon bye now whoa that was crazy and awesome all at the same time i am enjoying this